Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hold the line! Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back once again, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. In front of you, you see the Flissa 4 and 7th, 8th inch survival knife with nylon sheath. Legionnaires, before we get started, as always, let me know what is in your pocket. Today I have the tie light in 4 inch with S35VN steel and G10 handle. Let me know what you guys got in your pocket. What are you carrying today? Active military, veterans, appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for your service. You guys are welcome here. You will always have a place here on this channel. All right, troops, let's get into some quick specs. Overall length is 9.44 inch. Blade length is 4.86 inch. Handle length is 4.58 inch. The blade steel is 8CR3 MOV with an HRC of 54 to 60. It is a stainless steel. Uh, the coating on this blade is of a black oxide. Weight is 8.71 ounce. Uh, the handle and the sheath are both made out of a fiberglass nylon. And it features a fire starter and a whistle. All right, Legionnaires, I was asked by the Flissa people to do a review of one of their knives. And I decided to pick this one because I like it. I like the way it looks. And from my past experience of working with the other Flissa knife in D2 Steel, I decided, why not? I, I think I like this company. Uh, the, the other knife that I tested out proved very, you know, did very well. So I wanted to do this knife. This is an awesome looking knife. It seems very practical. Um, nothing fancy. Definitely a budget blade. Maybe comparable to a Mora or Holzfers or some type of similar budget blade. But basically this is $18 off of Amazon. And it's not a bad blade in my opinion. Okay, so let's check it out real quick. I want you to see the blade. I'm loving the blade shape. It is a clip point, okay? Um, perfect size in my opinion. It has a small sharpening twirl. It does have a slight hollow grind. This is not a flat grind, but it is a sli slight hollow grind, which is not so bad. It has a little swedge over here. And it does have a nice spine with some light jimping. Okay, as you can see, it's very well done. As I look at it, the fit and finish of the blade, the coating, um, the execution of the knife itself seems to be pretty good. And it's extremely sharp out of the box. Okay, and we're going to test it out on some of this fat wood that I have here uh, today. A little later on, uh, right after probably I show you the rest of this blade. Okay, so it's a two-tone color finish of this handle. This is another reason why I like it. So you have a little bit of, uh, you know, woodland camouflage. Here's some nice dark forest green. At least that's what it looks like to me. And it has a wonderful handle. This handle is nice. Um, definitely engineered properly. It's got a little bit of texturing for grip. All right, now if you take a very, very close look, let me see if I can get it in the light. If you take a very, very close look, this tang goes all the way through. Um, you can see that little round piece right there that's kind of glistening. That is the tang. I have a feeling so, that it may not be a full tang, but it is a stick tang that goes all the way through. All right. You can see it right there, that little shiny part. So not a bad, bad knife at all. The handle is extremely, extremely comfortable. When you put your thumb up here at the jimping, it's not too aggressive. You know, it, it seems to be really nice. It does have a little bit of a sharpening choil, but you could definitely hold it in some different configurations. And um, I'm squeezing as hard as I can, and the knife just feels great in the hand. Let's do it the opposite way. Okay, so the four different type of grips. Now I do plan on putting a lanyard. Okay, it does have an option for the lanyard hole, but I, I, I had a lanyard hole on a lanyard on here, but I wanted to take it off to show you guys that there is uh, steel over here. There is metal, so it does go right through it. I kind of wish it was a little bit of a protruding tang, 
So I could do some uh, some batoning here um, into wood if I needed to, but not a deal breaker at all. Okay, especially for the price. It's got the uh, Flissa logo here on the handle. Um, it doesn't hinder your your grip whatsoever. Uh, the little Flissa logo. Nothing on the opposite side. Okay, and you can see the texturing on the handle, and it's very, very comfortable. It's very, very grippy for this nylon type of a handle. So I, it's just really, really nice. Okay, so very nice knife, very nice size. This would be perfect to go out hunting, do some light bushcrafting. Um, I had this again. This is initial impression, impressions, ladies and gentlemen. Um, without me going out there and doing my regular testing, you know, um, I'm just giving you my initial opinion of this knife. And if it's anything like that D2 steel knife that I tested out, man, and I'll put a, a picture and a link on the screen that you could see and check out. Well, you know what? Um, the Flissa company does a really good job uh, of making a knife. Let's take a look at the sheath, ladies and gentlemen, because I am digging this sheath. Okay, let's take a look. This is a nylon sheath. All right. And it looks like it's done very, very well. It is unfortunately not ambidextrous where you could move this part from one side to another. Um, I would have rather have seen, in my opinion, to have the sheath exactly the same look of this part right here on this side and then maybe put something a little bit more flexible um, as a belt loop. But this is not bad and I'll tell you why because it looks like this is a multi wear sheath, okay? So depending on what side um, that you put it on your belt, you can adjust it to make it feel comfortable that you can put it, pull it out uh, on the left or on the right side of your hip. That is the knife, of course. Okay? So that is one feature of this uh, sheath that I kind of like. I'm kind of digging the way it looks. It doesn't look like it's a shabby sheath. Now, the sheath does come with this uh, sharpening um, device over here. So at least there's an option for that. Would I use it personally? No, I don't think I would because... One of my favorite sharpening tools is the work sharp, and I would take this out into the field anywhere I go. Actually, I have, so that's what I would do. But if you have nothing else, and you're on a budget, you can't afford anything else, and this is the only thing you can afford, this is great, okay? And at least it gives you that option. Another thing that this sheath comes with is a very, very small ferro rod, all right, which is better than nothing and a whistle, okay? Uh, now I haven't tested this out yet, so, but let me see if the whistle works, hold on a second. Yeah, it's okay, it works, it seems to work. In my opinion, I would rather have seen uh, some more of these holes over here, so it gives you a better option for latching, and then maybe a separate external, uh, you know, holder for um, the ferro rod, you know what I mean? and then have this over here, this part over here. That is just my opinion. Uh, maybe just some suggestions to the Flissa people in the engineering department. But it snaps in place, it's pretty secure, and uh, it's not a bad sheath, okay? It, it, it could use some room for improvement in my opinion, but way better than a lot of sheaths that are, are being sold with a lot of the knives. So let's pop the knife in, and it snaps in real well. It seems to feel very secure. That noise is from this thing over here. So as I'm shaking it, there is absolutely no noise. So as a hunter, you could take this into the woods, maybe, you know, just put a little piece of, uh, you know, um, fiber or something or rope in here to keep it from, from making that noise. But other than that, this fits really nice. It looks really good. It's, it's a really nice piece, you know, easy to take out. It's wonderful. I'm, I'm digging it. All right, let's, uh, let's see how sharp this is. All right, I have a piece of paper. The only thing I've done to this knife is just strop it because that's what I always do with my knives. 
but as you can see, it's pretty sharp for an $18 knife. I'm digging it. All right, troops, I want to do a quick demonstration with this fatwood, okay? Because the paper is, you know, it's paper. So let's see, I've got some nice hard fatwood. Let's see if we can make a few curls. Make sure I'm on camera. Well, not curls, but individual curls, that is. And it's working good. Now, let's test out this spine because it does feel like it's a 90 degree spine or I could use the jimping to see if I can make some shavings and yeah, it looks like it's doing it. Wow, that smells really good, I love resin. Okay, so just a quick showing of what this knife can do. Okay, I wish I was uh, capable of going outside again, but for right now it's too cold uh, and I just have to watch out for my health. But this did a fine job uh, as a small uh, demonstration. All right, troops, just a small demonstration of the Flissa 4 and 7th, 8th inch survival knife with sheath. Okay, um, another suggestion I wanna give the Flissa people is give names to these knives. Give names, call it the, the wilderness knife or something like that. In any case, troops, I just wanna thank you guys for taking the time to take a look at my video. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. I'm digging this knife. I will be taking it outdoors once it gets warmer and doing uh, a little bit more heavy duty or test. Okay, but I don't see any problem with this knife uh, being capable of going in the outdoors and doing what is needed. Okay? All right, troops, thanks again for watching. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and active military out there that face a lot of challenges once they get out of the service. At the end of this video and... In the description section and in the comment section will be phone numbers, links to websites, and a heartfelt message from a legionnaire named Martin Miller. He has left you a heartfelt message. Please seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. Don't forget, troops, let me know what is in your pocket. Like, share, and subscribe this video. And think about joining up the Legion. Okay? Spread the word. All right, troops, thanks again. Really appreciate you guys. At the ready, troops, hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires!